I'm Mark Kenny with Garage Gurus, and today we're in our Detroit training center, and uh, we want to bring this tech tip to you technicians out there. We want to talk about how to properly pull the service disconnect on the high voltage battery on this 2017 uh, Chevy Malibu. The procedure that we're going to use here today is very similar with a lot of the hybrid vehicles out there, but always consult your service information before you uh, attempt to pull that service plug. Uh, we are dealing with high voltage here, so we need to protect ourselves. Obviously, safety glasses, and we're also going to need protective gloves. Uh, your manufacturers recommend that you use these gloves to protect yourself when you pull that plug. Now, you can see that this glove is rated for 1,000 volts, and it also has a production date on it. Let me kind of hold it still right there so you can see it better. That date is when we bought the glove. It's good for six months after that before it has to be uh, recertified. Uh, big thing, as we talked about before, high voltage. We don't want any kind of leaks in these gloves. Uh, one of the little tests that I like to do even before I put the glove on, even though this is a brand new glove, never been used, what I'll do is I'll actually roll it up from the end, like you see right here, and see if I can trap air in there. Notice I'm trapping air inside of there. There's no little pinhole leaks. Even a small leak in this glove with the high voltage that we're using could be dangerous for you technicians out there. So take this serious. This is a serious deal. We're not dealing with 12 volts like we've dealt with in non-hybrid vehicles for years. We are dealing with high voltage. Voltage is high enough to could actually kill you if you're not careful. So the other thing is with this glove, being as it's a, a polymer material, it's not very thick. So what they also provide is a leather glove to go over the top of it. There again, to protect that uh, uh, polymer material there. And then you can just kind of pull it up tight. I know this is a little bit clumsy to work with and some of you, guys, some of you technicians out there may be thinking, man, I hate working with gloves on my hands. We need to protect ourselves. We need to follow the procedures, okay? Now the first step in our procedure will be to disconnect the negative cable on the low voltage battery. Uh, because we are working with the low voltage battery being 12 volts, we won't need our protective gloves. We can do that uh, just like we've done any other battery in the past. So I'm just gonna come in here in the car, loosen that cable, okay. and then we need to isolate this battery cable from the battery. We don't want it to accidentally reconnect during our process here. So I'm just going to kind of push this down and kind of tuck it underneath right here and that'll get it away from my battery. Second part of the procedure is we need to wait five to ten minutes. Uh, GM says five minutes, other manufacturers may say ten. Uh, what you're doing is you're giving the system a chance to discharge any capacitors that might be uh, in that high voltage system. And this one does have high voltage capacitors in the inverter. So we need to wait that five minutes and then we'll come back, we'll get our gloves on, we'll get inside the car and we'll pull the service disconnect. Okay, we've waited our five minutes on our battery disconnect. And the next step in the procedure would be to glove up and to go ahead and pull that high voltage uh, service disconnect. Uh, one part of the procedure I wanna touch on right now that we did prior to coming back to the back of the car here, and we, we did it without filming it because it's gonna be very hard to film, and I think we can just talk through it, was uh, GM wants you to remove the key fob from the vehicle and uh, make sure it's out of range of this fob. So what they want you to do is to take the fob, place it in an area away from the vehicle, and then see if you can start the vehicle. Uh, if you can start the vehicle, then you need to move that fob farther away. And really all you need to do is just to push the ready button and see if the uh, uh, dash lights come on, or if you want to try and start it, you can do that also. If it does start, then we need to move the fob farther away. If it doesn't start, we know that now this thing is far enough away that it can't cause any kind of accidental startup or any kind of problems with the system. Uh, we did that prior to disconnecting the negative battery post, 
So at this point, it doesn't matter if I'm standing here with this fob in my hand, but I did want to cover that as part of the procedure uh, on this vehicle. As I said earlier, different manufacturers, different procedures, you always want to read your service information and know exactly uh, what needs to be done and follow that procedure in order. All right, so let me set this down. Actually, I'm just gonna put this in my pocket. And let's go ahead and get gloved up, because remember, we are dealing with high voltage. And what I'm gonna do to make it easier uh, for the cameras and for you uh, technicians out there to see what I'm doing, I'm actually gonna crawl inside the vehicle and then I will actually pull the service deck, uh, service connector from inside the car. Normally I would just reach through the trunk here, but if I turn around, obviously you're not gonna see anything because I'm gonna block the camera view. So let me go ahead and crawl inside the car and then uh, we'll go ahead and get that thing disconnected. Okay, I'm inside the vehicle now and this is the uh, high voltage service disconnect. One thing I wanna to touch on is the color of it. Notice it's colored orange. Uh, that is the standard color for high voltage connectors, wires. Anytime you see that color, you know that that's gonna be a high voltage uh, um, circuit. So keep that in mind when you're working on these vehicles. All I wanna do now is just basically lift this black lever up and you can see as I lift it up, it's got a cam action to it that actually allows it to disconnect. At this point, we've got our service disconnect safely removed from the vehicle. Now we can proceed with any service work we have to do on this car. All right, we have our service disconnect removed from the vehicle. Uh, I would advise you to take this, put it on your workbench, you know, take it outside of the vehicle, just as an, another layer of safety, uh, not leave it necessarily inside the car. I don't think there's really much risk that it's gonna drop back into that spot hook up. Uh, there again, we're working with high voltage, why take any chances? And it uh, might be easier to find if it's up on a workbench than floating around inside the trunk, okay? I'm Mark Kenyon with Garage Gurus. For more helpful tech tips like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more information about us and training, go to our website, garagegurus.tech. Thank you. Yeah.